Hey, how's everybody doing? I'm excited to be back. Fire away. Tyron, just just what what was kind of your motivation for you know getting this done, getting getting the second year, maybe working with the team a little bit, you know, to 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 make it happen. Well, to be honest, man, I've I've really enjoyed, um, you know, really being a part of this team, you know, especially defensively. Uh, I feel like we do a lot of great things. Um, you know, I love the coaches. You know, I love the way those guys come to work and prepare. Um, and I like playing with my teammates too. So, um, you know, I'll probably say for me, man. Um, you know, obviously, you know, I'm from here and it's a blessing to play here, right? So um, to kind of keep that going, man, um, it, it means a lot to me. Darren, we know it's important for you to to play in New Orleans, be in New Orleans. Does this kind of effectively give you the opportunity to to retire as a Saint and retire in your home time? Yeah, I hope so, you know, but uh, I'd probably say, you know, more than that, right? Um, you know, I got another chance to, to help these guys win. You know, I'd probably say the last couple of years has, you know, kind of been, you know, underwhelming, you know, to say the least, right? So to have another opportunity to to suit back up with these guys, um, you know, help this whole city win, um, that means a lot to me. So I'm excited about that opportunity. Yep. What's been so enjoyable about playing with this defense and these teammates over the last couple of years? Well, it was a it was a it was it was a different system from you know the ones that I've that I was used to in the past. Right. And it took me a while to kind of get comfortable and get going. Um, but between the coaches and the players, um, all those guys were, were always supportive. Right. And, you know, uh, once I really began to kind of understand the, the system, right, and the scheme, you know, I start to have fun again. Right. And I kind of felt that last year. So um, to, to, to kind of be able to kind of keep that rolling. Right. And, and feel even, you know, more comfortable, you know, going into to year three in the system. Um, that's exciting for me because I know, you know, there's still a lot of football plays to to be made. And, you know, uh, I think I still have, you know, enough in me to, to make them. Tyron, when you say underwhelming, you just talk about the results of the seasons missing the playoffs. Are you talking about your, yourself a little too and some, some of that, you know, finally starting to feel it in year two that you were just talking about? Well, I, I think realistically, you know, we all could have played better, right? And so, but I think overall, you know, there's so much excitement, right? And, uh, you know, I think we all, you know, thought that, you know, we'd be much better, you know, as far as uh, wins and losses, you know, concerned. But, you know, I love the group, right? I, I love my teammates. I, I love the building. I love the coaches, right? Um, like, I feel like we have everything we need, right? Um, you kind of just go through some rough patches, right? But I think um, – you know, I know me personally, I believe in the coaches, I believe in the players in the locker room to to help us turn it around because I do believe we have enough guys, you know, in our locker room that, you know, we could be a pretty good football team. Hey, Tyron, how important was that second year, you know, just to add on and does it provide some stability for you at all or what was kind of your the thought process there for trying to get that done? Well, well, you know, I'm getting older, right? And so, you know, if I can just have things kind of black and white, um, you know, uh, for me, that, that provides a lot of clarity, you know, for me. So, um, and, and obviously, too, man, uh, you know, I love playing this game, right? So whether it was just one year or two years or three years or four years, um, I'm always excited, man. I'm always grateful to to just be able to to play the game. But I think two more seasons in in the Big Easy, um, you know, around family, around friends, uh, you know, around teammates that I love to be around, and then still doing things for the community, you know, that I love to be a part of. So it's just a great opportunity for me, you know, um, and just looking forward to really the next two years. And I'm curious, kind of, did, did what happened with the safety market kind of influence your decision at all? What did you kind of make of just it seemed like a lot of big names are getting released and, and that sort of thing? Yeah, I mean, it, it happens, you know, every year, right? And, um, you know, uh, I've been on that side, you know, a few times, right? And so, um, but it all goes back to just, man, like that clarity part of it, right? Like just knowing where you're going, knowing where you're going to be, um, you know, I think it helps you, especially in the off season, um, to to kind of redirect and refocus and um, just have that motivation going into next season. Tyron, it sounds like Jordan Howden might get uh... – a bigger role maybe moving forward just kind of what was your year one review of him playing next one well I thought he played well um you know obviously 
you know, he could have played better. Um, but I thought, you know, given the situation and circumstances, you know, uh, us just kind of plugging him in and playing. Um, he's a smart kid. He's talented. Uh, you know, I know he went, went through some, you know, rough rough spots. You know, I think all rookies go through that. But I think overall, man, he, he's a good kid. Uh, he's a great teammate. Um, you know, he's fun to be around. And he's another one of those young guys on our defense that, you know, I think we're going to count on, you know, for, 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 for many years to come. So, you know, I look forward to continuing to play with him and just continuing to help him become the player that I, that we all know he can be. You know, Tyron, you know, each the last two years, 17 games, 17 starts, how much pride do you take in just the durability, the availability that you've had? And as you've gotten later in your career, is that something that you've had to maybe spend more time on as your process changed over the last, you know, four or five years? Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I struggled with a lot of injuries, you know, early on in my career that, you know, I kind of felt, you know, robbed me, you know, a, a plan, you know, per se. You know, I think I missed close to 17 games, you know, I think my first five years in the league, right? So, um, and, and I think that kind of played a part in, you know, me getting released from Arizona, right? And I think as a youngster, you don't really realize your availability, right? Like it's all about your ability, <laughs> right? And I think... As you get older, you 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 become more uh, conscious of your availability, right? Because your ability is not what it used to be, right? So, um, you know, just being able to to show up every day, right? Every game, you know, every practice. Um, I think that's what it's all about. Like that's what we get paid to do, right? And so, I enjoy doing it. For me, it's not work, you know. Um, so. Um, and then, too, for my teammates and coaches, man, like I always want to be one of those guys that they know is going to be there, that they know that they can count on. So uh, I take a lot of pride in that. Tari, Tari you've also segued into that mentorship role. Um, how much do you embrace it? I know how much you talk about how Larry Fitzgerald and guys like that were that for you early in your career. Man, that, that, that's what it's all about. You know, especially if you're – a guy like me who's been, you know, beyond blessed, you know, right? Um, you want to you want to see that happen for for young guys, right? Teammates, um, guys who become more than teammates. You want those guys to to grow up and, you know, have a lot of money, right? Like have a lot of resources, have a beautiful family, right? So um, that's important for me because I, I always had guys, you know, in, in, in my huddle that was like that you know, that, that always inspired me, right. To, to be better, to do more in the community, to, you know, raise my kids the right way. So, you know, I hope and pray that I can continue to kind of be, uh, you know, a positive influence, you know, on the young guys, you know, as far as that goes. Hey, Tyron, you mentioned that hey. you and your teammates just had a uh, high expectations for the season that maybe didn't pan out. Is there like any one moment or one game that you look back on this season that maybe you regret more than most, or you consider a turning point? Oh man, I'd probably say the one that, 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 that I regret the most was, you know, probably that Rams game. It, you know, uh, we, we just weren't ready. Right. I think our coaches did everything they could to kind of prepare us. Uh, but I think as a team, we, we, we just wasn't ready. Um, and, you know, I think given the way we ended the season, um, and, and how we had to claw and kind of fight and scratch, like that was a huge game for us, you know, and um, we, we just wasn't ready. Like we just didn't do it. So um, I, I think had we uh, won that game and, and showed up and played, you know, to the level that, you know, we were capable of playing, I think, you know, we would have probably punched our ticket in the playoffs, you know what I mean, last year. So I think about that game a lot, man, because it's like, that was a great unit we were playing. That was a great team. You know, Sean McVay is a great offensive mind, right? And I think as a defense, you know, we consider ourselves a pretty good defense, and we just didn't show up that day. So, um, you know, that, that was one of those games from last season that 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 hurt that hurt me the most. You know, when I look back on it. Hey, Tyron, Tyron I got uh, there, there, there's obvious win-win elements to this deal. Uh, obviously, the average value goes down a little bit. Helps the Saints you get an extra year of security but but you had a year left on your deal what was the sort of the impetus for for deciding to to change it at all uh well say it again I'm sorry I couldn't couldn't really hear your question yeah I mean you you, you didn't really have to do anything 
with the deal since you had one year left on it? Was it you that kind of wanted to see, can we extend this or, or was it a way to work with the saints and sort of bring the value down? What, what, what sort of the reason to change the deal that you already had in place, I guess. Yeah, I think, you know, for one, you know, I, I, I've made a lot of money in this league. I, I think I like, you know, the situation I'm in, you know, right now with the saints, I think I've come along, you know, in the system. Right. So for me, like that's exciting, you know, and I think, you know, uh, you know, where I'm at today, you know, in my life today, like, you know, I would have just took a one year deal, took some off top, but I, I love to be in New Orleans, man. I love to be around family. I love being able to, to, to be in the community, right? Like, and not have to live out of town and come back in for a weekend or two, right? Like I'm here, right? So that means a lot to me. I still feel like there's a lot more for me to do in the community. And so, you know, just having that extra year to kind of be able to to do all the things that I really want to do while I'm home, uh, that, that was really important for me. Hey, Tyron, that's kind of what I wanted to ask you about. Um, how, how much of this is uh, is just kind of going on on your, the, the kind of personal legacy that you're building in your hometown and, and, um, and wanting to be here to kind of accomplish the things outside of, outside of being a saint? Yeah, man. Um, you know, I'm pretty sure a lot of people would, they're probably going to remember, you know, the honey badger. Um, but as far as the community, you know, related uh, things go, man, like I feel like it's still so much more, um, you know, for me to do, right? And I think if I'm able to do the things that I really want to do in the community, um, I think a lot of people will remember me for that. And that'll be more than a blessing. That'll be more than enough. So, um, you know, I'm pretty sure I still have some honey badger fans, but I'm really hoping I can leave a lasting impact, like in the community. I hope I'm one of those guys that, people remember and say, man, like he always gave us his time. Like he always shared whatever he had, like he was always willing to give it to, you know, someone less than. So um, uh, like, like for me, like that means a lot to me. And I think I still have an opportunity to kind of, you know, achieve some of those goals that, that, that really has nothing to do with football. Anything else retired? Yeah, just going back to what I was asking about the safety market earlier with do you sense that the NFL is still like valuing the safety position as it once did? Or is this with so many guys being released this offseason? Like, is that a sign that maybe they don't value safeties uh, as they used to? I mean, maybe so. You know, I, I think, um, you know, obviously, you know, some safeties are, are, are truly valuable. Right. Like they can play multiple positions. Um, but I think in certain schemes and, and certain systems, right, like you can you can go for a younger guy. Right. Like you can just plug and play a younger guy and you can get by. Um, it's very, very unfortunate uh, because I felt like you know, I've been in the league 11 years and I, you know, I felt like at one point, you know, the safeties were really valuable. Right. Like because those guys can do a lot of different things. But, you know, it seems as if the league is kind of getting away from it you know, so to say, but, uh, you know, I think a few of those guys, that they, they'll be all right. They'll be fine. Uh, you know, whatever system they play in, wherever they land. Um, so, uh, but you, you worry about those guys, you know, younger than you, right? Like those guys that, that, you know, deserve to, 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 to really be paid right top dollar. So, um, I'm hoping those young guys that's, that's, that's much, much younger than me, man, could, you know, hopefully this is over with and those guys can, you know, reap the benefits, you know, but for right now, man, it, 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 it's looking, it's looking ugly. Thank you. All right, kind of along those lines. Um, what was your reaction to the news that Marcus May is going to be released considering um, he signed a deal around the same time you did? Yeah. I mean, you know, obviously, man, um, you know, I think with May, man, it was one of those situations like, damn, you know, right. Like, um, you know, you wish he had played more, right? You you wish he had more time with us. But, man, he was a great teammate when he was here. Um, you know, uh, he was easy to be around. He was fun to be around. And, man, when he when he put on his pads and, and he played for us, man, uh, he tried his best to play big, you know? And so um, he's a veteran. You know, he's been in this league a while. Like, uh, wherever he goes, wherever he lands, he'll be all right. Um, but, you know, it's just one of those situations where, you know, you look, you'll look back on it and you'll say, Man, well, you know, you wish he was healthy and you wish you wish a lot of things, you know, went differently. But um, man, he's a good dude. Um, and uh he was one of those guys that, 
you know, I talk about, man. Like, it, it was it was fun to come to work and, and, and work with that guy, you know, each and every day. So um, just really wishing him the best, 